glowed? Or yeah. is it just pop the balloon? Is it going to glow? Numbers out. We're, we're a little girl, a little too many girls here. Why do you think it's a girl? There's a 50 50 shot, and I just picked girl. It's definitely a boy because it, it needs to be a boy. Why do you think it's a boy? Because we need a boy. <laughs> My sticker. Right there. <laughs> Grow, little one. <laughs> Why do you think it's a boy? I just think it's a boy. I don't have a specific reason, just I think it is. Just the feeling. Mm hmm. You think it's a boy? I've always thought no. it's a boy oh because God. man's night is incomplete without the next generation. Oh my God. Why do you think it's a boy? Because I know. I don't think I know. <laughs> Sierra. Um, you that one, I'm right. I have faith for it being a girl more than a boy, but I'm open to either. So. All right. I'm not open to either. either. I just own it if it's a girl. I'm not voting. <laughs> Team girl. Girl? Team girl. Why? Because that's what God says. <laughs> what do you have? I don't, ha I don't have a sticker. I think it's a girl. It's a girl? Why? She's an unregistered voter. That's, I'm making a guess. I think it's a girl. Why? Uh, because when I first referred to the baby, I said baby Milka. And I was thinking mini me. So Aww. we'll see. I'm wondering now if it's a boy. <laughs> Taylor. Open it up. I want to get it again. Okay. Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. What do you think? Well, do you think it's a girl? <laughs> um, God have told me it's a girl. Why do you think it's a girl? Uh, because when I was having out the word, I kept writing her, and then I had to fix it to be gender neutral. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> um, what's up? So, do you think it's a boy or a girl? I think it's a girl. Why? I have no, I don't know. I look at Ryan and I think. A girl? You just said. I think it's a girl. <laughs> just in case I'm wrong. They're having a bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I said girl. <laughs> based on feeling. Based on, based on feeling. <laughs> Boy. Team girl. Why? You don't know. Because you're a girl. Guess what? We're a don't girls have girls? <laughs> Team girl all the way. Why? Because that's my first guess. <laughs> Adara's team girl. Team girl. Say go, girls. What do you think? A boy? Boy. Why? Boy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a boy. What, what do you think I'm having, Zeke? Got it? I think the boy. Why? Why do you think it's a boy? I don't know. Okay, and what do you think, Dora? I think it's a boy. Why? I don't know. Are you hoping it's a boy? <laughs> what do you think we're having? I don't know. It's either a boy or girl. <laughs> I think it's a girl. Because, I don't know, I just... That's what we've had faith for for a long time, so... I think it's a girl.
wanted a boy at one point, but I felt like our faith, before we even got pregnant, we kept saying, we want a little princess, we want a little princess, we want, and that's what God's giving us. So, yeah. having a little princess. <laughs> It's now the day after um, the gender reveal. And at this point, as you guys know, we're having a little girl in this belly of mine. Oh my God, I look so big. I actually look chubby with this hoodie on. But anyway, uh, it was so beautiful guys. Um, I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of the background with everything. So overall, I spent about $150 in the entire gender reveal. I wanted to make it simple, but really cute. So as you can see in the background, the wild baby balloons, I got those from Party City and they were only like $12. And then the other balloons I got at another party store nearby. All the greenery that you see is from our backyard. <laughs> we had mason jars that uh, my friend Sierra Lewis let me borrow. I also made um, the chocolate covered strawberries, the pretzels. My friend Olivia made the two cakes, which were delicious. And then my friend Sierra Brown provided the balloon that we popped. The picture frames on the table, I painted those. So I bought picture frames at Goodwill, two for $5. And I just painted them and I put the ultrasound pictures in it because I thought that would be really cute. And I put a crown on the cake, on one of the cakes. And that crown was um, actually a Christmas ornament. Popcorn was really cheap. I just wanted to do a bunch of like white foods and then obviously the charcuterie board. I wanted to provide finger foods. I didn't really want to provide a whole meal because for me that's more of a baby shower thing. So I didn't want to feel the pressure of cooking an entire meal or providing an entire meal for almost 30 people. So that's why all you saw was really simple stuff. I feel like it was a it was a really amazing celebration with all of our friends and my parents and my in-laws were on Facebook Live, my sister, and so and some of our friends were also on Facebook Live watching. So that was that was also amazing because they got to be a part of it somehow. Oh, by the way, I've gotten this question a lot. What? have you been craving during your pregnancy nothing so i haven't had any weird cravings i always crave spicy food even before i was pregnant always i have always craved spicy food no matter what so it's not like me craving spicy food is a pregnancy thing it's more of a mexican thing <laughs> Mexican I love crazy spicy food so yeah um, right now I'm eating this is cucumber with cayenne pepper salt and lime and I know some of you are like that's disgusting because I get that all the time by people who are not Mexican it's okay I love it it's so good mm. I've been getting asked you know questions about like how have how has my pregnancy been i know other people always try to convince that they will always try to convince a pregnant woman that what they experience the pregnant woman will also experience so i've had that a lot where people have have said to me like oh you're gonna experience this you're gonna experience that you're gonna go through this and i feel like some people you know their hearts don't mean wrong, but you don't have to accept what they're saying. You don't have to believe that your pregnancy is gonna be hard. You don't have to believe that you're gonna hate being pregnant, that you're gonna be sick, that you're gonna hate having sex, that you're going to get annoyed with everybody and their mother. Um, you don't have to believe any of that. During my whole pregnancy, I've been praying and inviting God into it 
and just telling him like hey god you and i like we're doing this together you're in on this and you are working through my body you are the one creating this little bean my little wild baby in here so i'm trusting you and yeah i did have a really rough month of morning sickness and then i decided that i wasn't going to be sick anymore and um uh, anytime i would start to feel nauseous i would start praying over my body and commanding my body to align with peace and to align with heaven because i didn't need to be sick and i didn't have to be sick so i haven't been sick i haven't been sick um since then i've had a couple of days like two or three where i started feeling nausea try to come on me and i started praying over myself and speaking over my body and it went away i believe that pregnancy is such a beautiful life changing experience and it doesn't have to be hell it doesn't have to be scary it doesn't have to be ugly and so for me i know this is my first baby and i haven't been through this before um, which is why i want to set my mind to doing this pregnancy differently than what i have seen i have seen some really beautiful pregnancies but i have also seen some pregnancies that have made me wish i never had a baby and that's really sad um, because pregnancy is one of the most beautiful experiences that we could ever live through as a woman and it's a very it's a very empowering experience and it's a very intimate and very deep experience that only you can relate to god in this way um, when a child is growing within you so yeah i'm really thankful that i get to be the mother of this little one <laughs> this little princess i'm so excited so on thanksgiving ryan got to feel her kick for the first time and it was so beautiful to just see like the little kick on my tummy it was just like boop if you guys have any questions about pregnancy anything that any advice you would like um anything you'd like to know just send me a message on Instagram or comment below and I will get back to you. Um, but I will be posting another video soon on a different update, um, more on my life, but also my pregnancy. All right, have a wonderful day. Love you guys, bye.